Hi everyone, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel Shivani Creations. Today I am showing you how to create beautiful quilled keychain which is covered with the resin. Yes, these are the quilled resin keychains and this is permanently protected by the resin and also I will show you how to create this cute yarn tassel and I have created in three different styles. So let's get started. So first I'm starting with my first flower and for the petal I am taking one fourth strip of light yellow color in 2 mm. For today's project I am using 2 mm strips only but if your mold's depth is little high you can also use 3 mm strips. Now I am just making one leaf shape and coloring the bottom part using vibrant fuchsia archival ink like this so in total I have created 10 petals and I'm joining all together to make the flower to do the shading you can also use watercolors or acrylic colors So flower is ready now for the center of the flower I am taking half strip of pink color 2mm and making one tight coil and just connecting in the center and flower is ready. So it's dried and from back side also I have done some shading because since I am pouring the clear resin so it will be visible from back side as well. So don't forget to shade from back side too. Now I am taking half strip of light green color and making one tight leaf shape to create the leaf for our flower and we need total three leaves so this is done in the same way I have created one more small flower and for one petal I have used one eighth strip of light yellow color and the process is same now I am starting with making the lotus flower for this I am taking half strip of dark pink color and making one bended leaf shape so we need total six bended leaf shapes and one normal leaf shape for the center one so quickly I am just adhering all the petals together to create the lotus shape. And this is done allow it to dry then for the third flower I am taking one strip of blue color and I am making one tight teardrop shape and then I will join five petals to create the flower Then for the center of the flower I am taking one strip of yellow color and making one tight coil just add in the center and after drying add one more tight coil on other side of the flower. Now it's time to make the mixture of resin and hardener. So here I am taking my paper cup. First I am adding two tablespoon of hardener. And then I will pour 4 tablespoon of clear resin. So this is the resin by Little Birdie and it works in 1 raise to 2 ratio. 
so one part of hardener and two parts of clear resin you need to wear gloves and mask while working with resin and your room should be properly ventilated and also keep wet wipes handy with you now mix this mixture for 2 to 3 minutes very slowly in one direction so our mixture is ready i have kept it for 10 minutes to set for some time and i am taking these two molds i have given the link in description box of molds if you want to purchase anything and first i am pouring some clear raising on the molds to create the base for our flower so that it will get stuck with the base very easily now just spread this using any wooden stick if required you can add some more resin in the base and then with the help of tweezers i will start arranging my flowers on the raisin So it's done now I will pour the clear resin on top as well and fill your mold completely till the top. Like this. Now allow it to dry completely for 24 to 48 hours don't fidget with it just leave it as it is and cover it with some tray or some glasses to protect it from dust I have kept it for 48 hours and it's completely dried now I'm just popping it from the mold and see how beautiful our quilling flower is looking it is preserved in the resin and nothing will harm your quilling flower now you can wash it you can rub it you can throw it it will remain like as it is so i'm super happy with the result of the quilled resin designs and in the same way you can create pendants earrings or finger rings all my designs are ready and they look like this so shiny so smooth so much finishing and very hard and as well as very light weighted now it's time to make the keychains so I am starting with making the tassel using wool or yarn so first take one small piece of yarn and then start rotating or rolling the yarn on your two fingers and I am rotating it for about 18 to 20 times then cut the yarn from bottom and pass this piece of yarn through this and make some knots 
on top. Then cut the bottom loops using scissor and then I am taking one small teeth hair brush or you can say comb and just combing the yarn and opening all the twisted ropes which are meant to create the yarn. So we have to open each and every thread from this to make it fluffy. So just separate all the threads using comb. And it's done. It's very soft and fluffy. Now just gather all together and from bottom I'm just cutting the excess yarn and leveling it using scissors and the yarn tassel is ready now to give it more finished look I am just passing one golden color flower cap through this just pull it towards bottom so that it will hold all the wool part from top very nicely and then I am passing one jump ring through this and making some knots Then cut the excess yarn from top and your yarn tassel is ready to use. So pretty and so quick. Now I will start making my keychain. So here I am taking one golden colored jump ring. This is a 8 mm jump ring. Passing it through my big quill resin pendant. Then pass one keychain holder through this just secure the jump ring so you can use your keychain as it is but I am just decorating it by adding some charms so I am taking one more jump ring taking the small quill resin pendant adding with the chain and securing my jump ring then here I have created one small heart charm using the remaining resin I have just made the glitter with the resin and poured in my mold so just pass one jump ring, add with another chain. Then take one more jump ring, pass through your tassel and adding on the topmost chain and just securing it. So the beautiful and super cute keychain is ready. In the same way I have created the lotus one by adding the purple yarn tassel and added this oval charm. And for the blue one I have added the red color yarn tassel and created one more pendant with the same mold. I have just used a blue color pigment and glitter to create this. 
in this way you can create your own keychains in different different variations and colors and it's completely waterproof so you can use it robustly so that's it for today hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and don't forget to tell which keychain you like the most thanks for watching see you next time bye bye